Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a very exciting video to share with you today. I finally got in my 2020 fall winter catalog. So I have the new testers, the new releases. Uh, we're gonna do some first sniffs and we will take a look through the catalog and see what is coming August 1st. I am so excited. Um, I placed my order for my catalogs and my testers on the 1st of July and uh, it didn't take too long. Uh, today is the 15th and I got them in so that's awesome. Um, I'm so excited. I have not smelled any of the new testers. Um, there's, we'll quickly go over which scents are also returning but I'm gonna do that in like, maybe I'll do it in this video depending on how long it is. Um, so anyway, let's jump in. I'm going to do the first sniffs and then I'm also going to share with you six returning scents that um, were either scent of the month, um, available in different collections and stuff that have made it into the catalog. So let's jump in. Um, let's start with the Disney one. So for all of you Disney lovers and Winnie the Pooh lovers out there, 100 Acre Wood is making it into the fall winter 2020 catalog. I'm so excited for this. And for anybody who missed out on the Honey Pot, the Honey Pot Warmer will be available in the catalog. So I think that's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a nice bedroom scent. I like to use it in the bedroom. It is light. Um, and the description for this one is grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet, cozy vanilla. And it's definitely perfumey floral, um, <clears throat> but it's light. So it's not overpowering. It's not headache inducing. I love it. So 100 Acre Wood is making a return to the catalog. Okay, now on to Perfect Pumpkin Pear. This was the scent of the month back in October when we had the Enchanted Pumpkin Warmer, which, by the way, is in the clearance section. As I'm filming this video, the Enchanted Pumpkin is in the clearance section. I will leave a link in my website, uh, or in my, in the, I will leave a link to my website in the description. Holy crap, I can't talk. I'm so excited. Um, the uh, Sensi has updated the clearance section, so there is a ton of stuff in there. I did place an order. They did have bath bombs. Unfortunately, all the bath bombs have sold out, and I was very fortunate enough to be able to grab some before they were gone. Um, but there's some bars in there that I haven't ever tried um, from like way past past catalogs. Uh, lots of warmers, warmers that I've never even seen. Um, there's laundry stuff. There is a ton of new stuff in the clearance section. So pause this video, go check out the clearance section, get your orders in before all that stuff is gone. I think um, they probably updated the clearance section because I don't think we're going to be having a flash sale. So take advantage of the, the items that are in the clearance section for discounted price and stock up on some stuff. Anyway, perfect pumpkin pair. <clears throat> this is surprisingly in the spice section um, and it is fall fresh pumpkin and crisp golden pears mingle with breeze drifting cloves and sandalwood accents. I don't get any clove. I get kind of a, a pear pumpkin mix, more pear than pumpkin, but the pumpkin is definitely there and I do get a tiny little bit of a a sandalwood. Um, I, f I find this to be kind of, I describe it as a fall time potpourri scent. Um, I think it's perfect fall scent. I really like this and it is a powerhouse. I do, I have warmed this one before. I really enjoy it. It performs really well on my open concept. Um, so perfect pumpkin pear. I'm so excited that that one has returned. Then we have Evergreen and Grapefruit. And this one was available in the Holiday Trio that we had come out last year with Hazelnut Frosting, Evergreen and Grapefruit, and Brown Sugar Praline. So I am so excited to see this one come back. If you are a 
Christmas tree scent person, this is for you. So this one is in the woods category. Fresh fir needles, white cedar, and notes of grapefruit. It's so good. It's fruity and fir needle. Oh, and the grapefruit in here is not like super sour and tart. It's very sweet. Just mixed with the fir needle, it's so good. I actually have two bars of it from when I ordered that collection and I, I have never warmed it, but I love it. It smells amazing on cold. I'm definitely gonna warm it this season. I prefer this one over iced pine. I think iced pine is way too pine tree minty. So this is a nice light Christmas tree with a fruity grapefruit. Next is one that I'm so excited to see is Snow Kissed Cranberry. And this was a scent of the month for November, I think. And this one is in the fruity section. Um, if I can find, the, there we go. Um, and this is Frozen Pink Cranberries, Trek Through Fresh Fallen Powder, White Balsam, and Glistening Sugared Woods. I will say this one is very light, but it's like authentic cranberry, slightly tart, very sweet, and you can definitely get that sugared. It's like candy coated sugared cranberries or something like that. Or it's like you have a, you just washed a bowl of cranberries. They're all, they're a little bit wet. You can smell the, the, fragrance of the cranberries from the bowl and you take some powdered sugar and you just drizzle it shake that powdered sugar all over the cranberries and you have your window open a little bit and you can smell like a little bit of the forest tree-ness that's kind of what I smell it's really 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 good I love this one I'm so happy to I'm not surprised I'm very happy that it's back, but I'm not surprised at all that this one made it back because I do believe that when that one was the scent of the month, it sold out pretty quick. Then we have Pretty in Plaid. And I love how it's a red label and a green wax. And this one was the scent of the month for December, I believe. And this one is another Christmas tree type scent, but it's not as pow fur needle. Like it's very mellow. Um, this is in the woods category and it's described as juniper berries, jibe with minty fresh wintergreen, festive Douglas fir, and bright tart cranberries. Um, you can definitely get the fir needle for sure, but mixed with, I don't really get a mintiness. It's refreshing, so maybe that's where the mintiness is coming from, but I wouldn't smell this and get like a a blast of mint. Um, more than anything, I smell the juniper berries mixed with the fir needle. I don't really get a cranberry. I really like this. And I actually just warmed this one recently, which is weird because it's July. Um, I warmed it like last week, but because my bar was getting kind of sweaty and I didn't want to let it sit for too long. So I warmed it and I enjoyed it. It was really good. <laughs> so We've got Pretty and Plaid. And then the last one that is returning, that I'm not surprised is returning, is Caramel Apple Craze. Orange label, red wax. And I think this one is also in the fruity section. Yes, fruity. Creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla. And you know what? I think this is more bakery than fruity you definitely get apples for sure, but you can get that deep, dark, thick caramel, kind of like the caramel from the, the holiday brick, um, caramel sugar cookie, I think it was. Yeah, and I don't remember what my, I never got the scent of the month for this one. I think this was released with the, probably like September, I think when they, the haunted house, Haunted Mansion or whatever came out. Um, this, I don't remember what my experience was with this one. 
I didn't get the kit. I do know I purchased a bar or I got a bar in a whiff box or something. Um, I must have warmed it because I don't have it. Um, I like it on cold. I don't know how I'm going to like it warming though. It It's definitely bakery caramel. Kind of takes on a burnt quality. And I don't mind the burnt qualities, but sometimes, in my opinion, the burnt qualities can kind of have a maple tone to them when they're warming, and that's what I'm not a fan of. But I know lots of people who love caramel apple craze, so that is returning. So those are the scents that are returning that were not in the, this current spring and summer catalog or in last fall and winter catalog. So that's exciting. So now let's move on to the fun part. We have 10, 10 new releases. I don't even know which I want to start with. Okay, let's let's just do alphabetical order. Let's start with almond croissant. Oh my god, I just got a whiff of it. A fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and in and an infusion of almond. It's very light. You want to know what it kind of smells like? It kind of smells like churro churro with an almond note. I like it. <clears throat> Usually I'm not a fan of almonds. This is really good. It's kind of um, making my mouth water. <laughs> if you like churro churro, it's like churro churro mixed with an almond note. Oh, and there's a little bit of spice there too. Oh, that's really good. It's light. I'm kind of worried that it's it's going to be just like churro churro and be more on the lighter side. Not not an open concept performer. Um, but maybe maybe this is replacing churro churro. It kind of smells like churro churro, but it's got that almond in there like that. So that's almond croissant. And of course that's in the bakery section. Okay. Then we have, oh, this one I was really excited for, super excited for this one. This is apple and oats. And this is also in the bakery category. Rich. I haven't smelled any of these. This is my authentic first sniffs. Rich buttery oats, caramelized apple, and warm hints of cinnamon beckon straight from a farmhouse kitchen. That sounds really good. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. It, it's also light, though. Sorry. They say to smell your skin to like cleanse your palate and there's no coffee here to smell because Scentsy took away all the coffee scents. This definitely has an oatmeal, not like perfectly oatmeal or what perfect oatmeal or whatever that was in one of the bring back my bars um, a little while back. Sorry, I'm just, my back is kind of sore. Um, <clears throat> It's not like that. It's authentic oats. Like, almost like um, cinnamon apple oatmeal. That's kind of what it smells like. My, my son really loves apple and cinnamon stick oatmeal, and it kind of smells like that. There's a slight spice. You get that apple. But for the most part, it's like an oatmeal. That's, that's really good, really good. Apple and oats, so excited for that, to warm it. Anyway, we'll see how it does. 
Um, then we have Around the Campfire. This one I'm kind of a little nervous for. Gray wax. This says, make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. I'm kind of nervous that this is going to smell like gone camping and that one smells like a rubber tire. So, hmm, this is in the woods section. It's not bad. There's definitely that smoky ember, not like campfire, like burning wood, but like after the wood has completely burned up and you're just left with the embers kind of smells like that and there is a freshness like a fresh air and like woodsy yeah it it's like fresh air wood from like the the tree bark like the forest and smoky embers it's it's really nice it's Oh, it's really smoky though. As you, as I'm warming it up, that smoke is like really like pow. Hmm. I'm going up to my family's trailer. We have a trailer that we own um, up by Lake Huron, and we we do a lot of summer vacations there and I'm going up there this weekend and we always have like a campfire and stuff and this kind of takes me back there I don't know if I want my house to smell like this it's a nice smell I do like the smell but I don't think smoky campfire is what I want my house to smell like so we'll see about this one it's nice um but I don't know if it's for me um then we have autumn road trip nice orange wax I'm hoping that this is like autumn sunrise um, this is in the fruity section <clears throat> take a tour through crisp harvest apple just picked Anjou pear and a forest of towering silver oak oh definitely apple Oh, you know what? It kind of smells a little bit like, I was going to grab my tester of it. It kind of smells like Johnny Appleseed. A, like sweeter Johnny Appleseed mixed with a woodsy note. It is very fruity. I think if you like Johnny Appleseed, you're probably going to like this. Oh, it's nice. Again, light though. So far, these have been fairly light, like a light to medium. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I like that. So that is Autumn Road Trip. What do we have? Best in Snow is next. This is in the fresh section. Frosted evergreen, cool mint, and a breath of pure icy air posed together in a prized win prize winning winter snapshot. Ooh, that's nice. It's light again though, light. So far five out of 10 have been light. It's nice. Oh, I like that. Very fresh. There's a mintiness to it. It's a sweet mint. Um, I don't really get like an evergreen. It just smells like the air in winter time. Like when it's like really, really cold outside and you open the door and you get that blast of sinus clearing freezing air it's kind of what it smells like but it's sweet and it's not as like cool like it, it it's when i smell this it's not 
clearing my sinuses, but there is a sweet mintiness to it. Um, fresh air. I don't get evergreen. Um, I think if you like vanilla mint, you'd probably like this, but this is sweeter than vanilla mint and less minty. That would be a really good bathroom scent. Best in snow. So far, I want to say this is my favorite one. So far. Okay, then we have breakfast in bed. And this is in the bakery section. And this is wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with a sweet cinnamon drizzle. <laughs> That sounds really good. I don't smell anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, that works. Smelling your skin and then sm smelling the wax or whatever, that works. Oh, spicy, but a light spice, not like red hot heavy spice oh you can get that berry note you know what it kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of pumpkin cinnamon swirl mixed with black raspberry vanilla that's what it smells like mm. that's really nice that's really nice I like that but again it's light maybe it's just me maybe I'm having issues sniffing with my sniffer I don't know uh, I like that I'm kind of a little wondering why there's no coffee like I figured seeing as they took away like breakfast blend we don't have coffee tree they took away mocha doodle um, we don't really have a coffee. Breakfast in bed would make a lot more sense with coffee because I know that whenever I have breakfast in bed, I like coffee. <laughs> anyway, that one is really nice. Okay, this is the next two are the ones that I was like super looking forward to. The next one is called Cloudberry Dreams. It's in the fruity section. And this is Sweet Raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. I'm so excited. Oh, and it's a pretty, I didn't even show it to you guys. It's a pretty pink kind of lilac-y color. Ooh, fruity, yeah, raspberry for sure. And rose, you can get that floral in there. It's kind of perfumey. It's kind of like perfumey raspberry. I like this and it's sweet. I don't really get peach. Um, there is kind of a creaminess to it, which maybe that's like vanilla, but I just get floral, like perfumey raspberry. Again, it's light, but you never know how these are gonna perform when they're warming, it could be a powerhouse. It's perfumey raspberry. Oh, I like that. I still think the best in snow is my favorite so far. This is, I really like that. Okay, next we have dancing sugar plums. Rich spiced plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. Get a big whiff of my skin and then ooh. oh this is nice this is nice spiced and of course it's in the spiced category oh my goodness this is like spiced plums I'm not getting an apple note mmm it's really good. Oh, um, I don't
don't know how to describe this one. It's spiced plum. I'm not getting an apple note. I'm not even really getting vanilla either. It's just spiced plum. That's all that I can smell. Nice purple. Yeah, spiced plum. That's what I'm getting. Dancer, Dancing sugar plums. I think that one's my favorite. That is my favorite. We got two more. Okay, we have Just For You. Uh, green wax. This is in the wood section. I'm assuming another Christmas tree scent. This is Wild Blackberry. Offers its one-of-a-kind sweetness to a forest of fir balsam and pine needles. Oh, that's very light. Definitely not what I was expecting. You'd think with pine, it would be pretty prominent with the tree note. It's not. It's sweet and light. Oh, okay there. That, that pine is definitely coming out as I'm warming it, warming the wax. Um, I, I do get a berry, like a fruity berry and a a pine note it still doesn't compare to the strength of very snowy spruce I think that's like one of the best Christmas tree scents um, it, it's not strong like that but it's definitely pine tree and a berry a, a light berry though I would say I would say all around the scent is light, but the pine is probably the most prominent note. And then you have like a little sweetness from the berry. So that's just for you. And then the last one we have is Slay All Day. That's cute. And it's another blue. And I'm assuming it is the fresh. Usually when they're blue like this, it's a fresh category. Snow Kissed Mint and Juniper keep their cool as they dash through the crisp mountain air. Mint. And it, it does have that <clears throat> slight juniper. It's really light though. All these are super, super light. Not super, super light, but they're they're pretty light. I would say the strongest one. Okay, this, we'll get back to that in a second. This is mint is the first thing I get. There's definitely juniper in there, but it's really, really light. And um, the fresh air quality. It's kind of similar to the Best in Snow, but that one, Best in Snow is definitely more sweet and bright. I definitely think I like Best in Snow better than Slay All Day. Slay All Day has more of like a peppermint to it. So there, Slay All Day. Okay, so I would say, my favorites. It's hard to tell. Okay, I'm gonna say the strongest one for me has definitely been probably the Autumn Road Trip is the one that was the strongest on Cold Sniff to me. I would say my favorites are I like them all. Okay, Autumn Croissant is in, I'm, I'm gonna do like my top five, um, in no particular order. Okay, let's see. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna do my top five. My top five are Best in Snow, Cloudberry Dreams, Dancing Sugar Plums, Autumn Road Trip, and Autumn or Almond Croissant. Those are my favorites. I like them all. Um, around the campfire, I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know if I want my house to smell like it. But I'll probably pick up a bar because I need to try everything at least once. <laughs> so there we go. And then you know what I'm going to quickly do? I know we're at 30 minutes, but I'm going to quickly go over what is returning. I'm not really, I'm not going to show them. Um, so in the spice section we have apple and cinnamon sticks autumn hearth autumn sunset blood orange spice i'm so excited i'm surprised that that one came back because almost everybody that i talked to there was a few people who enjoyed it like i did but for the most part uh i didn't know anybody who liked it so that one is listed as a bestseller i'm really hoping that they're going to change the bricks in the club to match the best sellers for the current catalog so blood orange spice is the best seller christmas cottage is the best seller those need to be in bricks that's just my opinion so we got blood orange spice christmas cottage cider mill cinnamon bear another bestseller clove and cinnamon cozy fireside dancing sugar plums farm stand pumpkin first day of fall i didn't like that one Homestead Holiday, Maple Apple Bourbon is the bestseller, Perfect Pumpkin Pear, Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, Welcome Home is the bestseller, and that's also, that's already available as a brick in the Scentsy Club. Um, bakery, <clears throat> Almond Croissant, Apple and Oats, Apple Butter Frosting, Apple Cherry Strudel, Baked Apple Pie, Blueberry Cheesecake, bestseller, also in a brick in the club. Uh, breakfast in bed, brownie batter, butter pecan, candied cranberry pecan, hug in a mug, pumpkin roll, stroop waffle delight. I know a lot of people who, who are going to be super excited to see that one come back. Um, sugar cookie and vanilla bean buttercream. Those are the bakery ones. Fresh, <clears throat> aloe water cucumber, Amazon rain, aloe water cucumber, Amazon rain, both bestsellers. Uh, best in snow, by the sea, clean breeze, clothesline, those two are also bestsellers, Clean Breeze and Clothesline. Uh, Cozy Cardigan is returning. Eskimo Kiss, I'm Snow Over It, Jammy Time, Just Breathe is a bestseller. Newborn Nursery, Perfect Peppermint, Silver Bells, Slay All Day, and Vanilla Mint. Woods, we have Around the Campfire, Be Merry, Cedar Cider, Christmas Cactus, Cranberry Garland, Evergreen and Grapefruit, Iced Pine, Just For You, Mystery Man, Pretty in Plaid, Saddle Up, Sheer Leather, Very Snowy Spruce, and Weathered Leather. Fruity, Autumn Road Trip, Very Bright, Black Raspberry Vanilla, Caramel Apple Craze, Cloudberry Dreams, Honey Pear Cider, Perfectly Pomegranate, Sea Salt Avocado, Snowberry, Snow Kissed Cranberry, Very Merry Cranberry, and Winterberry Apple Tea is returning. Citrus, we only have five in the citrus. We have Blue Grotto, Coconut Lemongrass, Lemon Verbena, Squeeze the Day, and Sun Kissed Citrus. Four of those are bestsellers. Coconut Lemongrass, Blue Grotto, Squeeze the Day, Sun Kissed Citrus. I would love to see those all in a brick. Floral, we have one sad little floral of Luna. I mean, it's a great scent, but she's all by herself in the floral section. Um, Disney, we have Mickey Mouse and Friends, 100 Acre Wood, uh, Dumbo Circus Parade, and Marvel Nine Realms. So those are all the scents that are gonna be in this new catalog. Are you guys ready to check out some warmers? So our new special cause, um, if you're new to Sensi or newer to my channel, um, Sensi does a charitable cause every catalog season. Um, the current special cause is a, then they always have a warmer or some type of product. Um, as far, as long as I have been a consultant for just over a year now, it's always been a warmer. Um, <clears throat> Right now for spring and summer, they're doing a love is all you need warmer and it is in donation to part of your purchase will go to the Shriners Hospital for Kids. Um, 
the upcoming charitable cause is called Hope, Strength, and Love. And it is um, from August 1st, 2020 to January 31st, 2021, Sensi will donate $13, that's $13 Canadian, from the sale of each Hope, Strength, and Love warmer to the charity Rethink Breast Cancer. So this is the warmer and it is in awareness for breast cancer. Oh, and it's got like the little breast cancer, um, like charity ribbons. That's awesome. So that's a $66 warmer for uh, Canada. And I believe that's $50 for the US. Um, <clears throat> there's this warmer look at this that's so cool I don't know if I if I want it it's got a square dish like it's squared I really like it I don't know if I don't know I might get it it's called acute copper uh, 73 bucks for Canada I don't know maybe I'll get it um, these are new look at those those are cute home sweet home um, so that's the home home at last warmer is this like milk jug and then the seeing stars this little bucket that's so cool um, and there's a cow we have a cow warmer <laughs> you guys it's called deja moo <laughs> that's so cute De deja moo um, we have these two are are new grateful hearts and little church that's a little church grateful hearts so cute um sweet love is this one and it looks like it's a metal like a tin warmer it's got that rusted feel um then we have starry frontier that's for all us canadians out there it's got a moose on it. Um, then we have the Laurel Warmer, which to me looks very similar to the um, the Special Cause, the Breast Cancer one and the Shriners Hospital one. They're all shaped like this. Um, and also one of the scent of the months was shaped like this too, the one with the peacock feathers and even the one that we just had with the stars on it. Um, okay, so here, this, I'm, I really want this. So there's those two. So this one is Crush Diamond and that's the Acute Copper. Those look so pretty. Oh my God, I'm gonna need everything. Um, time to reflect. Is there a bigger one of that? There's this here. Time to reflect. That's new. I don't know if we have a bigger one of that, but I like it. Uh, this one I'm, I think is so cute. It looks like a big bubble, a big pink. Like if you had like a, um, some pink bubble gum and you blew like a really big bubble. This is called Bubbled Ultraviolet. That is friggin' adorable. So cute. And that's also 25 watt. Uh, Perfect Pearl, little plug-in, is new. Um, these two are new. This mini warmer I want so bad. It's called Why Are You Blushing? Like wire, like wires, like, like these kind of wires why are you blushing and then the other one is an element warmer and it's called take a stand look at that look at how gorgeous that is i need this warmer i don't need it i really want it i need that and i want it i need it and want it <laughs> and then there's this is the little um uh element warmer this is called look close oh no it's not called look closer what is it called? Oh, it's it says look closer. Glasses blown into the frame for a look that 
lives up to its name. Chic. It cannot be purchased in bundle and save. It's $73, but look at it. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. That's so gorgeous. And then we have In the Clouds, which is actually the warmer. That's right on the front here. Um, here's another picture of it. So gorgeous. I think that's all the warmers. Um, we're at 40 minutes here. There, there's the honey pot again. So that is returning. Um, and the buddies are also returning. Um, what else is new? Um, we are getting Cozy Cardigan in the Fragrance Flower for anybody who's interested. Cozy Cardigan is coming to the Fragrance Flower. Um, we're getting a new wall fan diffuser. Um, this one is called Swivel. That's cool. Um, new in the Scentsy Pods, I believe, is First Day of Fall, Cozy Cardigan, and Snow Kissed Cranberry are coming to the pods. Um, what else do we have? Uh, new to the laundry in only in laundry liquid scent soft washer whiffs um, big and little tubs not in the dryer discs or in Scentsy brush just liquid scent soft and the washer whiffs is window sill breeze which is a scent that is coming in the international collection that is available currently um, <clears throat> We're not getting any new cleaning products. Doesn't look like it. Uh, body care. So coming to the body cream, body wash, fragrance mist, hand cream, hand soap, lotion, and Scentsy Soak is Cozy Cardigan. So all the body stuff is coming in Cozy Cardigan. Um, we are getting No Not Spot Detangling Spray in Coconut Milk and Lavender for your pets. And I think that's it, you guys. That's, that's everything. Oh, wait, hold on. We got, we got a little, um, okay. We are getting purple and blue bulbs. Let me see if I can show this to you guys. Purple and blue bulbs. Right there. And colored bulbs in the 15 watt size. That's so cool. Um, what else is new? This little Clover the Cow scented in black raspberry vanilla buddy clip. Little cow down there. I know you guys can't really see anything. Uh, Twiggy the Turtle in Sunkissed Citrus, another buddy clip. Um, I'm just going through the whole frigging catalog with you guys. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Oh, Yuna and Boris the Yeti, Scentsy Friend. We're getting a new Scentsy Friend. This little girl down here. So cute. Um, a new blankie buddy, Bria the bunny, scented in sugar. Oh my god. I need to get that for my daughter. Right there. And I think that's it. I think that's everything, guys. I think that's everything. And there's a nice little thing on the back of the catalog that says, right here, we have even more Star Wars and Marvel products in the works, so get ready for an action-packed season. That is friggin' awesome. 
I'm so, so excited. Um, I don't, I don't know if there was any new oils or anything. I'm not a diffuser person. If you're a diffuser person, let me know. Um, I don't know what's new for the diffusers or anything like that. I, I don't, I have pets. So sometimes I, I might like, I could be like a little nervous about diffusing stuff. Um, uh, I don't know what's new for oils, but we're going to have, um, oh, cactus pear is new. So I'm just going to quickly list off the oils here. If you guys are not interested in oils, then you can just click off the video or whatever. Um, blackberry basil, cactus pear is new. Cedarwood pine. These are all balancing oils. Um, eucalyptus, uh, Eucalyptus Lavender Mint, Ginger Tea Lime Peppermint, and Sea Salt and Lotus. Comforting Oils, Awesome Apple, Cardamom and Vanilla, Cinnamon Cherry Vanilla, Coconut Sugar, Marshmallow Buttercream. They need that in a bar, uh, Marshmallow Buttercream. Rosewood and Vanilla, and new is Vetiver and Sandalwood. For calming oils, we have Chamomile Violet, Jasmine White Tea, Lavender, Lemon Lavender Rain, Rose Water Lavender, Twinkle Twinkle, and White Lavender Mint. There's a lot of lavender in there. Um, uplifting Oils, Citrus and Verbania, Grapefruit Blood Orange, uh, Lemon, Lots of Lemon, um, New Ocean Mist and Aloe is a new one, uh, Red Currant Raspberry, Sea Salt and Grapefruit, and that's it. So that's it, you guys. That is the new catalog. I'm loving the, the graphics, graphic design for this catalog. So cool. Thank you for spending the last uh, like 50 minutes with me. Uh, let me know if you are excited for which scents you're excited for, which ones you're gonna get. Um, as soon as the catalog launches, I'm gonna order a whole bunch of stuff and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.